All right, Pete Halverson back. Uh, I am I'm here with some uh, some rock and roll legends, but also like the photographers, yes. which is which is you know the reason that we're here tonight with a celebration of photography. Uh, we have Nicky uh, from Motley Crue and 6 a.m. fame yep, and, yep. and rock and roll, but he's also uh, been a Leica photographer for some time. Yep. Um, he's Nicky Six Photography yeah. uh, on Instagram. Yeah, you and check that out on Instagram. Got, got all his stuff there. Um, and then Randy Blythe, the amazing, the one, the only. From, uh, yep. Yes. Uh, and I think that what you guys have both gotten into is is this this sense of photography and sense of, of community that Leica has. Yeah. So uh, first, I want I want to just touch on that. So what, what is it about Leica that, that that kind of brought you in, into that fold from so many choices? Well, I think me and Randy have talked about this before, and, and other uh, friends of mine who are photographers. It, it feels like an extension of our creativity. For for me, it's. What I see turns into a song, a lyric, a book, uh, a photo, and, and it, it just feels like the one thing. It might be the closest thing to a guitar on my body. It's just always there. And same for you. What's, what, 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 what got you into it to begin with? Uh, I started, I've been shooting for about four years, and for the first three, I wanted a Leica because I started looking up uh, Henry Cartier Bresson. And he worked out, I'm like, what type of camera did he use? And I found out more about it. I think, particularly the M, it forces you to engage in your photography rather than just spray and pray like with a DSLR. So you really have to get in there. But once you kind of like become a part of that Leica family, you see someone else with a Leica, you're like, oh, hey. Like it's kind of, you know, I know our, our mutual friend Andrew Stewart, you know him as well, like a photographer back in LA. I had heard he had a Leica through other photographers. I'm like, who knows Leica stuff? They're like Stewie. Stewie, who, uh, Stewie knows Nikki. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, ding, 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 connect the dots, you know? And then you so, find yourself in Germany. And then all of a sudden, you're in Germany yeah. with you, yeah. Keith Halverson. It's true, it's true. Yeah. So uh, today, we also announced the, the amazing M10, which Nikki's holding right here. You've yeah. both well, been able well, to touch I'm it. Can you imagine if I... <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, first impressions, holding it. I mean, as an M user and Qs as well. You know, I think I think what it is for me is um, it fits my hand a little better. Uh, I have the M240 now and a Q and, a, and an SL. I, I love both the SL and the Q. Um, this this just fits better for some reason. Just and and I don't have I don't have really small hands. Uh, I love that the ISO is on top. I think that's fantastic. Just getting the the um, you know the exposure triangle right there, right at a glance. Um, I like to shoot pretty quick. Um, I think a lot of like photographers are like that, where they're using hyper focus or whatever. So it's just to get everything right there and get the shot. That that's the thing for me. Awesome. And uh, what was your what was your impressions? What was your first impressions touching it? Uh, I shot with it a little bit earlier, man. It's slimmer and lighter. It feels more like a film in, which is cool. You know, these aren't big cameras to begin with. But one of the big advantages you have is that they're discreet and small, you know. Um, I own a monochrome, you know, the newer one, and an MP240. It's lighter than both of them. And um, I don't know, I'm pretty stoked, like he said, on basically on the manual availability of the exposure triangle right there, you know, without having to really go in and menus. There's only three buttons on this. I think that's why when most people who don't know what an M is, they look at you and they're like, oh, that's a cute camera. <laughs> What is that? Yeah. You know, oh, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles. It's like you don't understand. Yeah. You know, it's it's pure photography. It is. is it what is. it is. At its heart, as we saw today, the first Leica ever made, sitting up on yeah. stage, it was very, very, very cool. See, see some, see some history here. Well, speaking of history, you guys have some history. We all have history now together. And tomorrow, we're going to get to maybe test some some M10s out. We're looking forward to that. And wow. if someone wanted to watch and take a look at, at your photography and maybe the stuff that we're going to be shooting here in the next few days, where would they find you? Uh, you can find uh, my stuff up at Nikki 6 Photography on Instagram. That's where I'm kind of housing some of my stuff right now. Very cool. And me, uh, I'm at D Randall Blythe. B-L-Y-T-H-E. That's on and Instagram. I think maybe we'll put like links. Can we put like links down here? Like yeah, link links. here and a link here and you can just click it. We're just like clicking things and we can follow easy. Yeah. And I'm Pete Halverson. So will you follow all three of us? Yeah, you are. Let's or, do it. Let's do it. Uh, so thanks for joining us, guys. And uh, uh, for thanks a celebration for of photography, us. celebration of M10, celebration of rock and roll. Oh. It's all here.
All right. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, we Come celebrate on. rock and roll. We celebrate daily. everything. I think that's it. Are we getting cut? I don't know what this is. I've never cut. posted before. Moon to bar. Oh,